Another consideration to satellites and, and VSATs is the impact of rain fade. The issue here is that at higher frequencies, uh, 10 and 12 gigahertz for KU band or 18 and 29 gigahertz for KA band, at those higher frequencies, uh, the nature of those frequencies is that rain or moisture in the atmosphere will attenuate the signal and cause degradation uh, of the signal quality. There are many things that we can do to mitigate the effect of rain fade. Uh, on the forward channel, we use DVB-S2 with adaptive coding and modulation. And what that means is we can uh, dynamically change the coding, the forward error correction, as well as the modulation scheme in order to get better gain out of that signal. We can do similar things on the return channel. Most specifically, we can do adaptive coding. Uh, we can also change the return channel symbol rate. Uh, and these are ways that we can increase the signal quality. And of course, we can also increase the uplink power available at the remote. The suite of rain fade mitigation techniques enables us to typically provide a 99.5 uh, or 99.7% availability.